Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today we are in the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14, where Jesus utters these terrifying words. Enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow is the way that leads to life. And only a few find it. These are scary words, aren't they? Right from the lips of Jesus, who says, don't just acquiesce. Don't just go with the flow because your default human nature is to gratify your sinful desires or is to give in to the social pressures and culture around you to embrace the fads and the philosophies of this age rather than to pick up your cross and follow me. Jesus reminds us that the way to life involves death to self, hardship, difficulty, sacrifice. It's not easy. The alternative is to go with the flow, is to give up the fight and, and just to float downstream with the current. But Jesus says that way just leads to death and destruction and emptiness and meaninglessness. It flows away from God rather than towards him. You have to swim upstream. It reminds me of a passage from the Screw Tape Letters. Uh, I love uh, this book. It's by C.S. Lewis and it's a fictional account of the letters written by one devil, Screw Tape, to his nephew Wormwood about how to best tempt his client or human being. He says this, you will say that these are very small sins and doubtless like all young tempters, you are anxious to be able to report spectacular wickedness. But do remember, the only thing that matters is the extent to which you separate the man from the enemy. It does not matter how small the sins are, provided that their cumulative effect is to edge the man away from the light and out into the nothing. Murder is no better than cards, if cards can do the trick. Indeed, the safest road to hell is the gradual one, the gentle slope, soft underfoot, without sudden turnings, without milestones, without signposts. Your affectionate uncle, Screwtape. Chilling words, but very true. Very often the devil wants us just to acquiesce, to give in, to go with the flow, rather than to um, pick up our cross and more zealously pursue the narrow way, the hard way of Christ, even though it leads to life. And uh, there may be areas in our lives where we need to just take stock because we're taking the easy way. We've given up, we've given in, we, the fight we thought is too hard for us. Actually, Jesus says, come on. He doesn't allow us to stay where we are. These words are a pin on our seat, a, a, a pee under our mattress, a, a barb or a spur that spurs us on to follow him more closely and more zealously. So let's take note from that and evaluate our life and say, how can I follow God? How can I enter through the narrow way this week? Where is Jesus calling me to next?